at 4 p.m., President Museveni steps out of State House in Tebe to welcome his South Sudan counterpart, Salva Kiir. The president of the youngest country in Africa which attained its independence on 9th July this year was received with a 21-gun salute before inspecting the Guard of Honor. South Sudan, which has a population of 8 million people, is still grappling with numerous challenges that require cooperation from its neighbors. Among the challenges is security inside the country and at the border points, with Uganda being the nearest neighbor. There have also been border tensions between North and South Sudan, with the North last week conducting two cross-border strikes. South Sudan accused the North of attacking a refugee's camp, but the North claimed the South was harboring and arming rebel elements and there were no refugee camps there. Also another issue is bilateral trade relations, which need to improve after Ugandan traders raised several bottlenecks in the recent past. The issue of the fight against Al-Shabaab is also likely to transpire during the talks, and it comes after President Museven just returned from Kenya on a similar matter. Nearly three months ago, United States Africa Commander General Ham visited South Sudan to share ideas on how Sudan could downsize the army into a more manageable lot. Salva Kiel, who was accompanied by several delegates among them, was the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, John Kong, and SPLA Chief of Staff, General Halems Hoth. The South Sudanese president will conclude his two-day state visit by addressing a news conference tomorrow at 10 a.m. here at State House in Tebe. One of the issues likely to be top on the agenda is security between South Sudan and Uganda. This comes at a time when Uganda is struggling to end the existence of the LRA rebels led by Joseph Kony with the help of the U.S. Army. Critics say that concerted efforts between the two countries is really paramount to ensure that happens. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV, at State House, and Tebe.